Hello everyone, welcome back to Max Payne. We're back in Max Payne and I'm so excited. Last time we were looking for uh, Jack Lupino, correct? I believe. Uh, let's just uh, have a refresher here. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. Okay. My cover had been blown. I had to escape from the hotel. So, uh, oops. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Uh, so I'd just like to mention, you may notice the game is in a different resolution. It may look a little bit different. A couple people complained about the stretched, uh, 16x9 graphics in the game. The game is originally, uh, 4x3 resolution, so the fact that I was playing it in 1080p was stretching it. Uh, apparently there is a fix to allow the game to run unstretched in 16x9 resolutions, but it is a little finicky and causes some weirdness during cutscenes. So I decided to not do that, and instead I'm going to record it uh, for you guys in 4x3. So uh, hopefully, you know, Max won't look so chubby and everyone will be proportioned correctly and maybe text will be easier to read for you guys. Um, the game for me is still in 16x9. So that's interesting. Everyone everyone looks fat to me still, but the game, the recording should be correct for you fine people. You picky, you picky people who need the, who need Max to be slender and fitting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's continue on. Uh, what gun do I want to use? Obviously, dual Barettas. Hello! Wow. <laughs> I used a lot of ammo there. It's okay. I got a lot back. Alright. Hello? A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. All right, everyone's inside, so we won't accidentally shoot civilians. That's great. <laughs> Super great. Okay, so somebody said that I might be able to, like, open things with melee? I don't know what- I don't know, maybe... Oh, okay, so, like, boxes like this and things. Uh... Urba uh. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's a little awkward, but it's fine. That's cool. What about this? Can I, uh... Rock, rock. Oh, I can destroy that. Oh, cool. So, can I destroy the washing machines? Rah! No, can't destroy the washing machines. How about the laundry baskets? No. Okay. All right. Uh. Game saved. Let's let's do this. Uh, actually, I'd like. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, sorry, Max. Uh, that didn't didn't uh, go very nicely. All right, so <laughs> let's get this last box. Come on, there you go. You did it, Max. Good job. Oh, there's one box left there, too. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. All right. So, what be the best gun for this situation? The sawed-off shotgun? Or we could throw a Molotov in there? Maybe Molotov. Probably the best idea. Get him, Max! Works pretty well, actually. Everyone dead? Okay. Everyone's dead. I approve. Okay. That was interesting. 
What about these? Die boxes. I am now going to be slashing every box that I can find, by the way. I hope, I hope you guys are happy. By the way, thanks everybody. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I sound like a jerk for some reason. Like, I don't know why. But I do want to say thank you everyone for your tips and comments on the first two episodes. Uh, it's really nice to hear that you guys love this game as much as I do. And so I'm really excited to play through it. I really, really, really am. Painkillers. Dude. I'm really glad somebody told me to kill these boxes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because more painkillers is better than not more painkillers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, can't, I can't destroy, like, blocked doors, right? <clears throat> no. I think only if they have this certain... Whoop. What the hell? You're dead. You're dead, senor. Oh. My. Okay. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. What about the man? Okay. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Hmm. Well, I'll take the baseball bat. D Excuse me, ratties. Ooh, so this is like AOE? I moved to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would you key? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Eskimos, man. Eskimos. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Shotgun ammo full. Alright, well, I like this baseball bat. It's pretty cool. This is... Oh, so it's just a one-way door. Alright, whatever. Can I open this? Hey. Oh! Shoot him! Shoot him, 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 shoot him! Shoot him. All right, I could have handled that slightly better, but it's okay, we're alive. Everything's fine. Everything is under control here. Don't worry. All right. Baseball bat. <laughs> Step one, destroy everything. Step two, loot everything. Also, I would like a drink of water. Being Max Payne is hard work. Uh, there's nothing in there. Blast chiller. Health hints. All employees should wash their hands before leaving toilet. What toilet? There's no toilet right here. Do people... Have they, have they been going to the bathroom in the kitchen? That's horrible. That is just... So unsanitary. Alright, let's use... Um, Pump action shotgun. I know there's gonna be bad guys around. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Hmm. Beretta. Okay, the eggs there. No one is on the line. Before we. Cheetos! Damn it. Before I uh, say hello to those fine gentlemen, I would like to explore. And use the, the bathroom, you know. 
Can I only have... Oh, I can only have eight? Well then. That's interesting. That's blocked. Okay. Get up. I didn't mean to open the door yet. Okay. I win. I won, right? Okay, good. Good, good. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. You know what, Max? Uh, we're just gonna go Max. Pain to the max. Painkillers to the max. Would have gone down as a narcotics arrest, huh? There was a key on the table. Wow, that is a big key. Got it, bar key. It was dirty money. Ooh. Look at all that money, though. That's a lot of money. Take it anyway. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Drugs. Okay. Can I destroy them? Nope. Yeah, Molotovs. Give me those. So I'm also hoping that the frame rate's a little bit smoother too. Um, it does seem to run a little bit better in this resolution, so I'm hoping that comes across in the recording. Because I did notice at least the second episode was a little bit, um, a little bit choppy at times for some reason. So, you know, hopefully this is better viewing for you fine people. Um, hmm. Okay, I got a bar key. How to escape? Uh, I like how you can review your objectives and stuff. Where am I going? Exit? No. Oh, of course, this, the restaurant, right? The restaurant? No. Oh, bar, gotcha. Didn't even see this. Ooh. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm, mm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cape. <laughs> oh, Rico, he's so bad. Oh my God. I am. Ain't I? <laughs> mm, mm. Uh, where are you going there? Oh. Rico Muerte, okay. big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Do something. Whoa, get his crony first. Get his crony. Get, get a better gun. Okay. Good. Oh, candy. I read your diary and I'm not sorry. Why are you so tanky? Jesus. How come you take more shotgun blasts than the dudes? I mean, I mean, you know. Never mind. I, I decided not to comment on that. Uh. I'd like to buy some booze because I'm almost dead. But did I kill him? I think so. I'm pretty sure I did. Is this an actual thing? Like, is that a drawer I can open? No. Ooh, beer on tap. Give me it. Smash it. Rico Muerte will never sell another bottle of beer. <laughs> Even though he can't, cause anyway, because he's pretty dead now. I think. Which one was he? Did he escape or did I actually kill him? Because none of these guys look like him. Didn't he have a white shirt on? Or was it this guy? I don't know. I think he might have escaped. Oh, okay, he's right there. Found him. 
I found him, everybody. Uh, okay. He's got no pants on because he was about to do something very naughty. There we go. Woo! Okay. Sorry to interrupt your fun, Mr. Oh. Okay. Wait, what am I using right now? Ingram? When did I switch to that? I must have ran out of bullets for the other one and he automatically switched to that one. Exit! Okay, so this is his hotel. Let's snoop around. What's that? Can I have that? The antique switchboard was still in use. Thanks, game. I needed that. I don't want to use this gun. Oh, there it's yeah, it's a new gun. I'm gonna use these still. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines. The blood veins of New York. Right now there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss! virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Something wicked this way comes. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've done it, everyone. We're officially at large and in charge as well. Oh, cool, look. That's a, that's a pretty sweet statue type thingy. Well, let's keep going. Restrooms this way. Ooh, slot machine. What did I win? Ah, boo. One more time. Dang it, it's rigged. Can I have more health, please? I would really like that. Why is it so dark in here? No health in there, fortunately. I hope you were evil. Oh yeah, you were. Good. Does this one work? Damn it! I can never win anything. Got the bad luck. Real men drink Casey. Mm. Whoa! Okay, sorry about that. Camera freaked out there. Alright, back outside. Ooh, we're on the roof. Ooh! Check it out. Whoa. Combat. Knew it. Okay, get behind cover, get behind cover. Whoop. Oh, Jesus. Help. Woo! Okay. That may not have been the best gun for me to use there. Honestly. But it's okay. The Beretta ammo is really easy to come by, it seems like, so... It doesn't seem, uh... Too bad. Is this... Boxes and boxes and boxes of Valkyr? Locked. Okay. Get 
Let me out. Wait, there was a button. There was a button that said exit that I forgot to press. I just realized this. Wasn't there? Wait, there was a button somewhere. Where was it? Where was it? I, n I remember seeing it. Here it is. <laughs> Got it. Chapter 5, let the gun do the talking. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Vodka. pretty irresponsible. Another bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Excellent general adult videos. Right. Save. Okay, that's going to be it for this episode, everyone. Next time on Max Payne, we shall go into there and save the world. Or just kill people. Probably just kill people. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.